Hey guys! Hi everyone! So, I know that we've been promising and promising and promising that we were going to get new stuff posted on the website store, and we have just had so much stuff going on mm -hmm. the past couple days, past couple weeks. We have been just ridiculously busy with life. Um, so, tonight, uh, we sat down and busted out pretty much everything that we got in that was new. Um, there's a couple, I think there's a couple quartz clusters. Yeah, there's a couple left. other things, but for the most part, we got everything that we wanted to get up tonight, so. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to spend a couple minutes, which always turns into forever with us, so we're going <laughs> to try to not talk so much. Um, because as you could tell from his video, he's just as long-winded as I am. No. Uh, yeah. Um, so, we are going to show you guys some of the stuff that we finally got posted up tonight so that you can see it a little more clearly through video. And then I'm also going to tell you about some of the, uh, extra... The new things you want to do. Yeah, I'm so here. excited. <laughs> so excited because right now we pretty, other than the ruins, we pretty much just have the crystals up, which is fine, but we really want to have a spiritual store and crystals are not the only thing that people look for in spirituality so i came up with a couple other ideas today and i'd like to run by you guys and see what you think but we will start off with all of our new stuff mm -hmm. so you can go ahead and pick something we both got stuff over here we're going to share okay well the one that's closest to me is we got this uh rough amazonite which is gorgeous i, to I to love it couple, so much i just kept looking pictures. at the pictures um this is one of the more, um, see if you can see that, it's one of the more pure pieces of it. Um, it's got a great color and a great texture to it. And then a lot of them have just these really great, um, mica, mica pieces. yeah, different, different pieces in them, um, kind of make them a lot more unique. Um, and this is one of the smaller ones even, um. They've got a really nice size to them. Yeah, that's a bigger one. Yeah. And we were just really impressed with them when we got them. So mm -hmm. So we've got those up right now in bundles of three. Um, next, I'll go with the big guy. We have this Celestite piece, which is, oh, look at a flash. Oh, my gosh. It is gorgeous and huge. And there's the back. Um, we've got, ooh. There's a super fancy flash. I didn't see that. Yeah. Um, so we've got this listed up. We've had this for a while, and I've got my own piece. I got in two pieces, and I was going to list them both, but I don't have any Celestites, so I'm terrible and had to keep the other one so far. But we've got this one listed up right now, too. Um, what else got? Um, we've got this super clear um, standing quartz point. Um, this one's um, one of the more impressive with clarity and... Um, just being able to stand um good size um really really pretty so yes it is gorgeous it's like you've got all these um, facets except on this side where you can see where it was broken off from its adjoining piece so mm -hmm. that is awesome um i'll keep these until you show that so this i have in a duo i've got this quartz cluster here and this, it's kind of like a lilac, it's a little bit uh, lighter amethyst cluster. And I've got both of these that are going up together. So those are up. And along with that, we've got another amethyst cluster. Um, so this one is a little unique, if you can see, um, yep, yeah. with the, um, on the top of it, there's some calcite coating. Um, so... That's a little bit more unique. It surprised us to get it, so mm -hmm. that's up there now. Yep, and the calcite, I mean, if you end up buying it, uh, you do have to be careful because I have noticed that the calcite does chip off, which mm -hmm. calcite's very soft anyway, so um, it's it's not, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. It, mm -hmm. If you get it, I mean, it does chip off, so just be careful with it. Mm -hmm. Um... Oh, oh, these are amazing. <laughs> okay, so we got an emeralds, and I have never actually seen rough emeralds before, but, oh, there we go. 
there's some pieces that are mostly green like this and they're also these are emeralds and matrix so um, they also have mica and I went through and these were pieces that we got from um, our buyer or our seller yes our seller we're the buyers mm -hmm. um, and they were unlooked through so they still had mine dust and everything on them so we had to clean them up which I thought was really cool mm -hmm. um, oh yes there's, this there's one a, there's another see if you can get that this right here is all mica this is just a big piece of silver mica um, and then you can see all the flash and then the green right there and then there's some pieces that are a little bit darker a little more covered in mica and there's just a little bit of green um, so I'm going to try to get rid of the mm -hmm. nice green pieces first, just because those are the ones that I'm sure everybody would want. So we've got emeralds up. Those sell in um, quantities of five. So we've mm -hmm. got those. And, and we've, we've also got, this is kind of a fun thing for us, but you guys hear about our camping trips up north all the time. Well, when we go up north, we come home with backpacks full of stones. Literally, there's mm -hmm. still a backpack sitting there because we haven't gone through it because we have stones everywhere <laughs> and so um we were wondering what we want to do with them and we want to see if some of you guys were interested this is a piece of unikite that we collected personally ourselves on the beach in lake superior and this stuff is everywhere up there you can pretty much find it mm -hmm. and that's one of the few places that you can actually find it um it, i mean it it's very easily found but in select places and lake superior is mm -hmm. one of the big places to find it and it is actually perfect for a palm, palm stone. stone. So um, it's not polished at all. It's just literally as we pulled it off. Yep, just beach worn. Yep, so it's it's naturally polished. So that in itself is kind of a cool, unique touch. We were thinking about um, putting a polish on it because we were finding we have a way to do that. But um, for now, it's almost just a little cooler to have them naturally. To have them beach worn. And mm -hmm. along with the palm stone, I've also got um, tumbled, just not tumbled, but beach worn <laughs> smaller pieces that we had also found. And we found a lot from this last trip too, but these were from our trip before. Mm -hmm. So some of them ha are more green, some of them have more red. Um, and these were collected by us. So they're not that expensive. Like the palm stone we have up for nine and change. And these we have up for five. Um, but, you know, we just thought it was cool because while it didn't cost anything to us other than the trip up there, um, you can actually find really nice pieces mm -hmm. just by looking. So, And they are pretty unique just that they're just pulled. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're, they're as you would find them. So. Yep, and I've got another Unakai piece that I haven't been able to quite part with just because it's got a really <laughs> nice quartz ring around it and it's really pretty. So if this one sells, I'll probably put the other one up. Otherwise, I'll probably hang on to it for a little bit. Mm -hmm. So um, I think that, that is everything mm -hmm. that we've got up on listed. Up store for now. Yep. Um, so that was already taking eight minutes of your precious time. So <laughs> I'm going to try to be brief on these next couple things that I have ideas for. Um, but I want to see what you guys think. Um, I know that I'm going to put up bath salts. This is a lavender and bergamot blend, but I do make bath salts um, where I put in essential oils as well as the herbs. Lavender is a big one just because lavender smells amazing, and I get all my herbs from the green-eyed owl from mm -hmm. Tiptoe Chicks, so you know that they're good quality. Um, so I'll probably be putting up some bath salts, at least lavender, because I have some fresh lavender here. Um, we'll also be doing, I don't know if you guys know what spell stars are, but Charming Pixie Flora has a video up on how to make these. So you can do them yourself, but um, a few years ago I made some, and they are they consist of cinnamon and applesauce. And they dry to where you can't, they're they're hard as a rock, so there's mm -hmm. really no way to damage them unless you, like, smash them with a hammer or something. And you can put them around your house. They make your house smell amazing. You can use them as ornaments on a tree. You can do all kinds of stuff. And for the autumn season coming up, which I am super excited about, this Friday we're totally going shopping and we're going to decorate our whole Ooh, house, and I'm yeah. so pumped. Um, but I think we're going to make spell stars. I'm going to do stars and pumpkins and moons and 
um, put them together in a little bundle and put those up there. They won't be very expensive at all, they may be five, six dollars, but you know, if you don't have the time to make your own, then we can share some of those with you. Mm hmm. Uh, what else did I have? I had spell stars. You had your basalts and you had the elemental Oh, yes, set. my elemental sets. Okay, so in my witchy room, I decided to do this myself to where I'm going to put on um, each of the four quarters, um, I'm going to put up like an elemental altar on the wall and leave them up at all times and then just cast my strip that way. Um, so for a lot of you that either are pagan or not, that um, have the elements up, um, I'm going to, we, we are going to put together elemental sets or element sets with uh, earth, air, fire, and water, and they're going to consist of a candle, which all of these are scented, and they're scented like you would think the element mm -hmm. should be. So, like, this is fresh rain, um, the, I don't remember what the other ones were, um, yeah. like, the, the fire was, like, fresh baked apple pie, um, the air was, like, spring breeze, yeah. and, and earth was, I think it was fresh... Fresh grass or no, something along. It was like evergreen something or yeah. something like that. Yeah. But anyway, so they they have sense of what you think they should smell like. So they're going to come with a candle. This is obviously water. Um, my phone's dying. They're going to come with a crystal pertaining to that element. So of that color, this is blue calcite. It may be lapis lazuli. It may be, um, uh, be sodalite. So um, but right now, the calcite's really calling to me for water, so it's going to come with a candle, with a crystal, and with another object that has to do with that element. So maybe a dish for water. This is just an idea right now. Um, I've got graveyard dirt that I'll probably put in for earth. Um, we'll do uh, air, or the incense for air, and... What are we going to do for... Fire? I'm not sure yet. I might do... Um, just another smaller red candle, but we'll do something. But anyways. Oh, yeah, or like a, what did we say we were going to do for that? Yeah, I don't we said now. something. But anyways, so it's going to be these, and they're, they're going to come with all four. So you're going to get four candles, four crystals, and then four other things that you can put together. So do that as well. And I, Oh, and the last thing is I'm also getting really creative lately. I don't know if you guys saw my video and just said hello, peeps. But um, this super cute boy over here bought me that, like, stretchy string to where you can make, like, those knot thingies. Braids. Yeah, braidy thingies. Um, and so I've been really getting into creativity, and I'm not quite sure what's going on. But um, I'm going to be doing more with clay. So I've been thinking about doing, like, incense holders or pendants or something like that to put mm -hmm. up as well. So along with crystals, which all the crystals that we showed you are up right now, are for sale, etsy.com slash shop slash the standing stone, which obviously we'll put the link below. Mm -hmm. um, ooh, we also have a new Facebook page. We just made a page today for the standing stone, so that is... Facebook.com slash Standing Stone Store, and I'll put that link below too. Um, and that is where we will now be putting all of our information about anything that we post or sales or news or whatever. So, mm -hmm. um, anything else you have to add, cute boy? I think that's it. Okay. Okay, so keep an eye out. Um, mm -hmm. When we get the other super cool stuff, I have to make sure that I can still get these candles because... I got them at the end of last yeah, year. Yeah, we got them a lot. So we got to make sure that I can still get ones like that. Um, but yeah, I'll keep you guys posted. We'll keep you guys posted mm -hmm. on what we're doing. So um, go take a look. We've got uh, all kinds of new stuff up there, and we're super excited about it. So I hope you guys have an awesome night. And we'll talk to you later. Talk to you later. Bye.